Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here today. This is Nicole with Topaz, and today's Quick Tip Thursday session is about understanding the Detail Boost sliders. One of the most common questions we get with Topaz Detail is what do the Boost sliders do? So today we're going to be demonstrating exactly what's happening with the Boost sliders visually, and I'll explain technically kind of what's going on as well, and then giving you a couple examples to really show you how to achieve the best results with Topaz Detail using those Boost sliders. So let's get into the program. We're going to use this rose image for our first example. And I think this is actually an after image. Let me show you before and after. So let's turn that off. I'll take this original background copy in to Topaz Detail. I'm going to come over here to the right and press Reset All to get back to the default um, settings, which should not affect your image at all. And we're going to be really focusing in on the actual detail module here and the small details boost, medium details boost, and large details boost. If you're unfamiliar with Topaz Detail and kind of the technology behind it, basically the program internally separates your image into different detail size ranges whenever you bring an image in. And there's three different ranges, the small details, medium details, and large details. And it's not a specific size, it's actually a range of sizes. So you can come in and you can independently strengthen or weaken your small details, medium details, or large details. So here's our small details, left and right, medium details, and large details. So you can independently move those around. And what the boost sliders give you the flexibility to do is actually tell the program how large you want the range to be for the small details. So, for example, with this particular image, if I wanted to enhance my small details, which are going to be more like texture details, you can take that to the right and actually strengthen those. If you see, especially up here in the rose petal itself where you see the veins of the petal coming through, you can see a lot of that texture coming through along with those veins. And so we're at about 0.4. So I just really increased a lot of those small details. Here's before and after. And now what the details boost sliders will allow me to do is just tell the program, I want you to uh, shorten the range or lengthen the range of small details that are affected. So if you start noticing some areas that aren't looking very good with that small detail enhancement, for example, these shadowy areas, we really start to see a lot of these small details affecting that shadow in a negative way. You see a lot of grain coming through. So if you want to eliminate part of that range of small detail that's being affected, you can take that to the left. And you can see it just smoothed out those shadow areas and it's no longer affecting those shadow areas. If you take it to the right, you're going to increase the range so it's going to start affecting more of the small details on the smallest side and the largest side. So as you take this to the right, you can see all of these individual pixels really start to stand out, a ton of texture detail coming through, and just a, a very strong detail enhancement whenever you take the boost slider to the right, because again, what it's doing is increasing the range both on the small side and the large side. As you take it to the left, it'll just eliminate the smallest details and the largest details for that particular range of detail, and you can smooth out those areas. Same idea with the medium details, which are going to be more of the medium image features. Now you can tell, again, up here on the top left, it's not as much texture detail coming through with that medium detail enhancement, but you do see those bright veins, the main veins coming through those uh, petals. And again, the same idea with the medium details boost. If I want to increase the amount of medium details, I can go to the right. It's going to bring in those smallest medium details and the largest medium details as I go to the right. And then as I go to the left, it's going to start eliminating the smallest medium details and the largest medium details. Same idea with the large details. So if I take this to the right, I can then increase the amount of large details that are affected or decrease the amount of large details that are affected. Even if you take the large details boost all the way down, if you have a detail enhancement happening, it will still affect some of those details in the initial or in the original range, just right in the middle, pretty much. 
And if you want to, again, increase the smallest in that range and the largest, just take it to the right to get that heavier effect. <clears throat> so that is the Details Boost sliders. Let's go ahead and use it in a couple examples really quick just so you can kind of see it in action and why it actually has a great use to make really effective detail enhancements. So if you bring this image in and let's say I want to get maybe a small detail enhancement to really bring out some of the texture of the dew drops as well as the texture of the petals themselves. And then I really want some separation between my petals with this shadow area and the main structure details which are going to be my larger details. I know that I can come in here and quickly just enhance my small details. So I'm going to take that to the right and strengthen those to get <clears throat> the texture I want in the rose petals themselves. So I'm going to take that up fairly high, maybe about 0.35, oh, I'll take that back down, maybe about 0.25. Here's before and after. I start to notice that I have added some areas that I, I'm not liking with that small details enhancement, which was the shadow area itself. So I'm going to take that small details boost slider down just slightly to eliminate the larger and smaller details within the small details range. And you can see it starts to smooth out those shadow areas, so now that's not being enhanced at all, which is great. And if I want to focus more on my structure details now, I'm going to come down to my large details and take that to the right to really enhance the separation between these larger structure details. I'm pretty happy with uh, about point three, five or so, here's before, here's after, but I'm not seeing enough separation. I want to increase the size of those large details that are being affected, so I'm going to take the large details boost to the right. Now watch what happens down here on the lower left as I do that. You can really see a great example of large detail enhancement. So as I take that to the right, it's going to increase the size of the details that, is be that are being enhanced and now I have the effect I'm going after. Here's before and after. I'm going to press OK and get back into Photoshop and that I hope gives you a little bit more understanding about the detail boost sliders that are attached to each detail size range within Topaz Detail. All right everybody, thank you so much for joining me here for Quick Tip Thursday and we will be talking to you soon. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.